<laughs> oh, hello there, old sport. Can I introduce you to a friend of mine? She's a little shy at first, but once you get to know her, she's really quite swell. Be warned, she's clingy and could be a bit of a mess. Also, she's not great one-on-one, -on -one, so maybe it's best we bring some people along. These here are the heads. They're gonna help me help you get to know this friend of ours. Hello, saucers! It's our name for you, so deal with it. School of Sauce is a project started by the heads and me. What we're trying to do is educate ourselves and anyone who wants to watch our mouths flap about the world of alcohol. One thing to note, there's an insane amount to cover, so we're gonna be general. Like, really, a lot, very general. We're starting with the family tree of alcohol. Ooh, what's that? Well, me in a different shirt, I'm glad you asked. The family tree of alcohol is how everything is related. There are the three big families, beer, wine, and liquor. Out of each fall subcategories like ale, red, and tequila. Then each of those has subcategories, and then there's more subcategories, and then more subcategories. Some you drink straight, more subcategories. Some you add to stuff, more subcategories. Some taste like candy, more subcategories. Some taste like drywall, more subcategories. It's all quite complicated. But this is no syllabus week, so let's jump in. Beer is awesome. I like beer. Liquor is fantastic. I love liquor. Wine is... Um... Beer is brewed, meaning its ingredients are mixed together and cooked to create the fermentation process. Liquor is first fermented, then distilled, meaning its ingredients are mixed together, left for a period of time, and then the resulting alcohol is separated from the non-alcoholic part. Wine is grape juice that's been left outside in a kiddie pool for a few days. Okay, fine, this is supposed to be educational. Wine is fermented grape juice, meaning it's grape juice that they let sit for a few days. Now each type of alcohol has its own typical alcohol by volume or ABV. This is a measure of the percentage of the liquid that is actually alcohol. Beer has the lowest ABV, usually ranging from 4 to 6 percent. Then comes wine, which is typically 12 to 14 percent. Then liquor, which is usually in the 35 to 45 percent range. There are a lot of exceptions to those rules, but frankly, I don't care. Like I said before, each family, beer, wine, liquor, has subcategories. There are two types of beers, ales and lagers. Click my face to see me explain the difference or I look stupid if we haven't made a video yet. There are five main types of wine. Red, white, rosé, sparkling, and fortified. Linkage on the screen somewhere to one video explaining all five or five different videos explaining them separately. I don't know, we don't play in these things. Finally, there are six main types of liquor. Brandy, gin, rum, tequila, whiskey, and vodka. Linkage on the screen somewhere. Uh, up here. It's gonna be up here. Somewhere. I don't know where the edge is. Somewhere up here. Now I know what you're thinking right now. Mike, are there more categories than that? Probably. Yeah. Mike, do you really have the authority to be teaching me about this subject? No. Mike, am I gonna be smarter for watching all your videos? You won't be any less not unsmarter. Yeah? Mike, do you think you sound stupid asking yourself questions like this? No, I sound f***ing awesome. We hope you stick around as we dive deeper into the world of alcohol. Go down under to subscribe, like, or leave a comment about how my haircut makes me look like a douchebag. Also, let us know what you're curious about. We probably want to know too. And remember, it's always better to have a little of the good stuff than a lot of the bad. Always drink responsibly. Prost. F***ing hey, this isn't a twist. You back up a little bit. Make that answer, boy.